I'm Jared Dienda. This is Snap-on Tools Tech Series Nitro Edition. Now, Cruz, there's so many variables, so many things that are adjustable, including rods and pistons. Let's take a look at a broken down rod and piston and, and all the rings. What does each component do here? Well, obviously, here's the piston. This is what creates the cylinder pressure. These are the rings that seal, keep the oil on the piston itself. This is the wrist pin that attaches the rod to the piston. And really, that's the rod and piston assembly. We can have these in and out of the engine seven or eight minutes. What kind of materials are we looking at for the rod and the piston? You've got a forged aluminum rod. The piston is a forging also. And the reason for this green material on here, it's a coating similar to an anodizing, and it gets the piston super, super hard because we reach temperatures near 2,000 degrees. So the idea is to keep the integrity of the metal so that the piston stays alive and round and creates that horsepower to make us go 320 miles per hour. So how many runs do you get out of of each set of rod and pistons? We probably get three to five runs maybe out of a piston before you actually start seeing major scuffing here and here. The rod will go, if we're lucky, 12 runs. And what will happen is because these things are turning at such a high RPM, it'll actually want to fork and spread this part that goes onto the crankshaft out. But again, if we can get 12 runs out of a rod, we're doing good. <laughs> 